Alrighty, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I reset all of my creation crystals for Scalars Imaginators on my PC. This is on my PC. You don't need giants on the Wii, you don't need a 3DS with a portal for Scalanders or any of that. This is on a computer. Now, quick disclaimer before I get into the video, you are gonna need a portal that is compatible with your computer. So this needs to be one that is for the Wii, Wii U, um, P PS3 or PS4. It can't be an Xbox one. Those will not work with a PC. I'm going to show you how to get it up and running with your computer. And um, another quick disclaimer, I personally have never had any issues with this software, but I have heard of people who have had issues with their scalars either stop functioning or it kind of damages their chip that stuff is all possible this website i it's not a website it's a program i think it's it's been 100 percent safe and reliable for me in the past it's always worked for me i've never had any issues but i have heard of my friends having issues with it and it's mainly with senseis do not ever use senseis with this don't you ever use it to reset senseis or modify their data or anything like that because it will mess them up they have an extra layer of security that no other scalars have so don't use it for them but for creation crystals you should be fine i've never had any issues but i'm just putting it out there if you have issues don't come after me because i did give you guys a fair warning but you shouldn't you should be fine so the first thing you're going to want to do is just hit the link in the description that it's going to take you to this page that has the scoundrels gui tool dot zip file you're just going to want to download it right here and then it is going to download and it's going to obviously be in your downloads scoundrels gui tool i would recommend creating a new folder for it and just calling it maybe something like reset skylanders will probably work just fine i would drag the zip file into that and then i would go into here you're going to need to unzip it somehow so i you guys probably already have something like seven uh seven zip or a different way to extract files i have seven zip if you don't have it there's a million different ways to get it and there's a million videos showing you how to get it so i'm not going to show you how to get it here and then you're basically going to go in here and it's going to have this application right here the scoundrels gui tool you're just going to want to double click that and it's going to bring up this page right here next thing you're going to want to do is get zadig i will have a link to this page in the description as well you're just going to want to don't hit any of this stuff around the sides if you see this don't hit that that's not good for your computer you're just going to under download here get the most recent version of zadig this is for making your portal compatible with your computer once you have zadig this is how you're going to make your portal compatible you basically want to open it up go to options and hit list all devices this is going to show all the devices you want to hit the one that says spyro porta and then you want it to be on lib usb k that's the one you want uh i'm not sure if any of these other ones will work i always use lib usb k it seems to work the best for me and you're just going to want to hit replace driver and just wait for that to do its thing there might also be a pop-up that says you're going to replace the system driver don't worry you're literally replacing the drivers in your portal it's not your system it's not going to do anything to your portal or your system you'll be fine as you can see it's maybe been a minute or so and the driver was successfully installed after that happens just hit close you can close the dig and you're going to want to go to your um pretty much your uh, windows bar or whatever you want to search up device manager you want to go to device manager then you're going to be on your computer here you're going to see all these you want to find lib usb k devices this is where you just made it so it's going to be a lib usb k device sorry this is up in the corner where you couldn't see it you're going to want to hit spiral porta you're going to um hit driver here you're going to hit update driver you're going to hit browse my computer you're going to hit let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer then you're going to go down till you see usb input device this is the one you want hit next and it will install it pretty much instantly. Now you can close out of all of this. You don't need it anymore. And your portal should be all set. You can use this for emulators or playing scouters on your PC or resetting crystals, whatever you want. Now, once you're back in the Scoundrels GUI tool, you want to just hit portal up here and just hit connect. And down here, it'll say portal connected if you're portal connected properly. And then you just want to take a figure. I'm taking this air creation crystal right here that I want to reset. I'm going to place it on the portal. After a few seconds, boom, it reads just fine. It's, um, you can see the green bar down here. Yep, crystal. Okay, so it is working totally fine. Now, what you want to hit, um, what you want to do is you want to hit reset crystal down here, and then you want to hit portal, and you want to hit right figure. This is going to pretty much write the reset to the creation crystal, and then your crystal will be fresh and new and ready for you to use whenever you're playing Imaginators. This is the strategy that I've used forever. It always seems to work, and I don't really have any issues with it. So that's how you do it right there. All right, now I've just booted up Scalanders Imaginators. I'm going to show you guys this crystal in action after it's been fully reset. 
Alrighty, we are now loaded into the game. Here's the crystal right here. Same exact air creation crystal on the portal. And here we go. Air creation crystal, fresh, brand new, ready to be used and ready for an imaginary to be played. I'm going to take this off so I don't have to get Eon, but yep, that's how you do it. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And I will be sure to answer you because this is a pretty... Uh, controversial or I guess pretty important topic so if you guys have questions I'll be happy to answer them so leave them in the comments down below till next time I'll see you guys later